Right, so in the box for the focuser, which I just thought I'd show you, it's a ZWO EAF. It looks pretty good. So a nice, compact, um, nice anodized focuser unit. It looks like it's well made. USB 2, which is a big bonus on the back of there. Looks good. Uh, a universal bracket. So it looks like it will probably fit most telescopes. Lots of holes in there to fit across the bottom of the, the old focuses. Um, Allen keys that you're going to need. USB cable. A varying assortment of screws. Um, and an instruction guide. So we'll put this together and see how well it fits and what it looks like when it's on there. Right, so all we've done so far, we've just taken the top handle off the scope so we can flip it upside down and it will sit quite happy on the bench. Um, and then it's pretty straightforward. Um, we just take off the focus knob. Simple. In the packet, there's four different adapters with different size center holes to fit different size focuses. So that's pretty well thought out. And we'll find the one that's compatible with this one. It looks like it might be that one. Looking at the size of that hole. And a I would say that's a yes, and that's a yes. So that's the one that's gonna fit this adapter. And then what we gotta do is these little grub screws that are in here, these are uh, an age old problem of coming loose. Now they seem to have addressed it a little bit by putting two in. So now each side has got two lock nuts, which is a really good idea. And if I show you on the scope, on the focuser arm, there's actually a, a flat face, which is where you need to get that screw to lock onto. So that flat face needs to lock onto one of them grub screws, which is quite simple. You can just hold it in position. Do it up, don't do it up too tightly, because we need to adjust it. So we just nip that up, perfect. And that's actually on the thing. And I've just noticed something else. These are actually rubberized, which is another forward thinking. If you can see that, it actually moves around. So that's a good idea. So there's a bit of work gone into this bracket, I'm imagining. And the same again, this one's actually got a flat face on there. So we want to lock that onto the same bit. And what you want to do is leave a bit of clearance between the face and the actual focuser unit. You don't want it too close so it's rubbing on the, on the focuser. So that is the motor fitted on. The grub screw's done up. We've left some space between both ends of the adjuster because the bracket is slotted. So it can actually go in multi, it can go anywhere backwards and forwards. So it's nice to leave a good bit of room. And these Allen keys, you want to really make sure these are done up tight. And having two is a really good thing. So do that one up a bit more there. And that one. And we'll just double check. Because if anything's going to come loose, it will be one of these. So that's that, motor in place. That goes on the bottom. And then there's a packet of multiple screws here. And then we need to find the screws that lock into here. And it's them ones. That sits on there. So first time we fitted one of these, first time taking it out of the packet. So this is a, a good experiment for one of these units. They look good, the build looks good. Um, seeing them in operation would be a whole new thing, but so far so good. And then in the 
packet, there's actually a little packet there, screw for bottom of focuser. So I'm guessing, without being a rocket scientist, that, that is just going to slot into one of these, which it does. It fits quite nicely. That all fits quite nicely. They supply you with an Allen key for these, so we can just make sure it's all in the correct position. Nip that up. Nip that up. And we're going to fit, uh, we've got multiple holes in the bottom of the focuser, so it looks like we can actually put another screw in. We've got one. Uh, let's have a look. Yep. So we can make sure it's double whammied. Not with that Allen key though. Put that in there. Do that up to make sure that one's done up. And that's that. Very solid. So now the focus is locked. You can't move the focus anymore until the motor's moving, but we don't need to move it. So I would say that's quite a nice looking. It's very robust. The bracket's good. Um, obviously it'll fit loads of different focuses. I think that's actually, so far, that looks pretty successful. So if we turn that back over, we can now see it fitted on. So there it is, electronic automatic focuser fitted on. And we're ready to take this in now to dismantle. Actually, we'll leave it here. We'll go and dismantle it and scope it first. Um, and then we'll come back and get it. We'll just put the bracket back on. I'm not sure if we're going to use this bracket, but we might use it to mount the Mount Hub Pro on. So we'll just screw that loosely on there for a minute. I might actually put a plate on here, which would actually be better for the Mount Hub Pro. So that's that. We'll just pack all the bits back up for Ian and that's successful. Let's go back to the scope.